Have you started trying to learn the Igbo language or the Yoruba language, but you're feeling confused by the tones? Are you having a hard time hearing the differences between those tones? Or maybe you haven't started trying to learn the Igbo or Yoruba language yet, but thinking about the tones makes you want to run. If you can say yes to any of those questions, you are in for a treat. Because in this video, I'm going to go over the three simple steps to master the tones in either the Yoruba language or the Igbo language. Hi, I'm Krista Dakeja, creator of Hack Nigerian Languages. It is my mission to empower individuals with a desire to learn the Yoruba language or Igbo language to successfully do so, even with little to no background in the language. So if you like more tutorials on how to successfully master the Yoruba language or the Igbo language, consider subscribing. So in the first video of this series, we focus on what it means to master the language at the core basics level. Right now, we are digging into a specific skill in that core basics umbrella, which is the tones. Honestly, before I started learning a Nigerian language, I was very intimidated by the tones aspect of it. I had never learned a tonal language before, and just the idea of it sounded so scary. But the truth is, there are three simple steps that you can go through in order to master the tones in the Yoruba language or Igbo language. And by following these exact same steps, I've been able to get to a place where I'm able to pronounce the tones and even just think about them, learn them, learn new words that have those tonal differences, and it honestly doesn't even feel like a problem to me. So the first step to mastering the tones in the Yoruba language or Igbo language is to learn how to recognize them when you hear them. You need to be able to recognize those tonal differences when you're just hearing them by ear. Because the truth is, if you cannot hear the differences when they are spoken to you or when you listen to a recording, there's no way that you're going to ever be able to produce them on your own. So really focus on being able to distinguish those differences when you're hearing them using things like tone drills. The second step to master the tones of the Yoruba or Igbo language is to be able to practice producing them accurately. You have to be able to accurately pronounce a high tone, a mid tone, and a low tone. So be sure that what you are actually producing when you are pronouncing those different tones is actually what is produced when you listen back to it. And the third step to master the tones of the Yoruba language or Igbo language is to learn how to recognize the tonal differences even when they are not marked. So oftentimes in written Yoruba or written Igbo, the tonal differences are not marked, especially with the Igbo language. And there are reasons for that, but your goal is to get to a place where you have gone through all those steps well enough for the tones to be able to start to feel natural to you so that even if they are not marked, if you just hear them, you're able to pretty accurately produce and identify what those tones are. So the goal is for you to really have gone through all those steps. So you really have built that strong foundation in the tones. You're able to accurately identify them when they are spoken to you. You're able to accurately produce them out of your own mouth so that when they are not marked, if you just hear it, you can pretty much guess and let the pieces fall where they're supposed to be in terms of what the exact tonal dynamic of a certain word is. So you have to find a system to be able to know what the tones are even if they are not marked, even if you are just hearing them, and for you to still be able to know what's being said based on the context. So I used to get really stressed out about not having the tones marked for me all the time, but the truth is really going through this process, learning those core basics and building a strong foundation of that and getting to the point of the level of communication, it really doesn't feel like as much as a problem. Not only am I able to correctly produce the tones when I'm speaking, but I'm also able to correctly interpret what I'm reading even if the tones are not marked. Now, if you wanna learn more about what it means to be in this core basic stage, as well as beyond, be sure to check out my free Master Yoruba Master Igbo checklist. You can find that checklist at the link below. And if you want more than a checklist and you want my help moving through the entire process, you can register for the Learn Yoruba Learn Igbo Toolkit course. It's an online course that helps you develop a bulletproof plan to progress in the language, shows you how exactly to move through the three language levels with those specific skills and specific study methods for each one. And it shows you how to adapt your plan while you are learning the language for continued success. So if you want to learn more about the toolkit course, be sure to click on that link in the description below. Now, if you stay to the end of this video, be sure to put an I say to the end in the comment section of this video so I can send you a big thank you. So thank you so much for watching this video and joining the Hack Nigerian Languages Movement. With that, I'll say Kodi Odabo, and I'll see you next time.